Hello, hope you're having a great day. I am winning this morning. I did manage to get up at half seven, then I had my water, my vitamin C, wrote in my journal, had a 20 minute meditation session, and I've just got back from my walk around the block. And uh, yeah, I wanna dive straight into cracking on with my exercises because um, yeah, I'm feeling way too comfortable now that I've sat down, so I'm at risk of getting lazy. But before I do, let me tell you about what I've been listening to today. So a channel called The Diary of a CEO, which is run by a guy called Stephen, and he did a podcast with Joe Dispenza. And this is another video where they're basically talking about the link between the mind and the body. Yeah, really interesting. It's amazing how interlinked our mind and body is and how most people in the world don't appreciate that. You know, most people go through the world thinking that what they're thinking isn't going to affect who they are when in fact you know what you're thinking determines literally what chemicals and stuff are released into your body it literally changes your body chemistry you know so this is why belief and stuff is so powerful this is why there's people out there that have cured themselves from stage four cancer by doing things like meditation. The guy even mentions that someone had their thyroid surgically removed and then grew one back. You know, these are extreme examples, but you know, on a more sort of day-to-day -day level, that's why it is important to believe in yourself. It is important to believe that you can change your life, you can change your situation. And also, you know, the link between the mind and body is why it's so important that if you wanna improve your mental health, you need to improve your physical health as well in my opinion. Now I talk a lot about not letting your sort of negative mind hold you back because you know if you're constantly always thinking negatively or thinking that you don't believe in yourself then that is literally going to affect who you are as a person but it works the other way as well. If you can cultivate positive belief and positive thoughts then it's literally going to make your body work differently and ultimately it's going to make your life better. So yeah Really interesting podcast. I'm going to carry on listening to it while I'm cracking on with my exercises. I'm on back and shoulders in the gym. So here at home, although I've kind of moved away from doing what I'm doing in the evening in the morning, I think I am going to crack on with back and shoulders. But I'm going to do some bits that I don't really do in the gym. So I'll do shrugs. I'll do sort of front raise shoulders. And I'll do the bent over rear delt things because um, yeah, that rear delt machine's always busy in the gym anyway. So after my cold shower and my breakfast, I dived straight into working on my MacBook and I decided to give myself a deadline. 12 midday, no matter what I've got done, I will be leaving the house to do what I need to do outside. Because, you know, I can't wait until I've done everything before I leave the house because the way I live my life, I'll never be done <laughs> with everything. There's always something to do on the internet or on my computer. So. Yeah, I gave myself that deadline and I actually got loads done. I've already edited yesterday's video on this channel, got that uploaded and ready to release at 6.30, already done the posts to advertise that video. I've imported the files for the next video on the car channel. I've already made a post plug in yesterday's video on the car channel. So, you know, it kind of shows how much you can get done when you give yourself a deadline, especially if like me, you sort of, thrive under pressure rather than being a bit complacent when you're not under pressure but yeah first thing i need to fly over to my other garage and grab a part then bring it back to this area to hopefully get done to that part what i need to get done before i can fit it back to the car so let's go all right so i managed to go and get my other part from the other garage it's an exhaust manifold that basically i need to get skimmed flat and after going to a few different places i did find someone that said they should be able to do it and i might actually be able to pick it up tomorrow which is really good because i need to take that car to an event at the weekend anyway after that i had some lunch and then i've come around to the garage here to work on this car and i've just about done everything 
but I plan to today. All right, so this evening, the plan was to go to a car meet and I brought all my gym stuff with me because the plan was to go straight to the gym from that car meet. But as it turns out, that car meet, mainly because of some traffic on the M25 motorway, was an hour and 40 minutes away going through the back streets. So I sort of started making my way and it was kind of not worth going. Like it was going to take me an hour and 40 minutes to get there and you know the meet probably would have been on for an hour maximum. But you know I decided still to go. But as I'm going through these back streets, there's just more and more traffic and it's just making the arrival time later and later and later. So halfway there basically I ended up turning around um, frying the towel in and then I went for a spin in the countryside and stuff um, near to where I live and now I've made my way to the gym. So today is back and shoulders. I need to obviously get changed before I crack on with this session and before I go in there I'm actually using my girlfriend Kat's power pack to charge up my phone um, just so that I've got my phone to listen to stuff while I'm in there and of course to get some clips of me on the machines. So I ended up just doing the three machines in the gym in the end. I will of course put all the reps and weights on the screen for anyone who's interested. I do kind of feel like I bottled it a bit. Um, yeah, should have done more than three machines I think, but it was busy in there. And in fact, I had to wait to get on those three machines that I did get on. Now when I look back at today, it feels like one of them days where I haven't really been present. Um, you know, I haven't been, in the present moment as much as I would have liked. You know, it doesn't seem like I was focusing on what I was doing um, throughout the day. Now, I still got quite a lot done, and in terms of what I got done and when, it was kind of the perfect day, and possibly the way I would like most days to go, you know, eventually, because I was able to get up at half seven, I got through my routine relatively quickly, and then I was able to do everything I needed to on the computer before midday, and then I had the rest of the day to head out and, you know, do the running around that I did and work on my car, etc., etc. But yeah, I don't know, when I sort of think back, it's almost as if I've been running on autopilot, um, as most humans do in the world, I know, and, you know, I'm grateful that I was running on autopilot in a less dangerous way than I have in my past. I mean, Kat's doing her nights this week, so it might be something to do with that, you know, why I'm not completely with it because of the craziness that I used to get up to when Kat was on nights. But um, but yeah, I'm grateful that I've got to the end of another one of Kat's night shifts. She does one night shift a month um, and it's her last night shift tonight. So. She'll be back tomorrow and uh, we can spend time together and stuff. And, you know, I haven't gone out and taken drugs and done things that I shouldn't do. So I'm grateful for that. But yeah, looking for another busy day tomorrow. I want to try and get another car video out tomorrow. But that's going to take um, yeah me sitting in front of the computer all day. And I know that Kat's probably going to want to go to the gym tomorrow and she would rather go early. So something's going to have to give. I've also got to go back to the the company that I went to today to hopefully pick up the exhaust manifold that they're skimming the flange for. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for another video, following me on another busy day. I wanna send a massive thanks out to everyone who's got this far. I hope this video has been somewhat useful or motivational. As always, feel free to say hello in the comments and we'll have a chat or get in touch with me directly through Facebook, Instagram, or email. But other than that, I'll speak to you tomorrow.